Hey guys, <clears throat> it is me again. Let me try to find my marker here tonight. Okay, I was waiting for my little pop-up and it never popped up. So, anyway, guys, it is uh, good to be here as always. Let's see what today is. Today is Wednesday, September the 5th. Makes it day 249 on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Guys, i got to try to make this quick. To be honest, it, it's got so late. I had so much to do tonight that I wasn't even going to make a video. But I figured I better. So, But i got to make this quick so I can get it in. Uh, guys, big thing is I just wanted everybody to pray tonight, tomorrow when you see this. Um, my uncle, which is my dad's sister's husband, uh, they put him in the hospital yesterday. He's 83, I think, getting ready to be 84. Um, uh, and he's got pneumonia, and, uh, anyway, they, when they put him in, you know, he, he wasn't doing very good, and then, this, now this is just going, by the way, dad talked last night, you know, he'd actually got a little better, uh, but then they called back tonight, my aunt did, and said that he, um, uh, that they think he's having some heart problems too, so they're going to send him to Lexington, Lexington in the morning. Um, to I don't know whatever they're going to do down there. I guess they can just take you know they can take better care of him. So, uh, guys, I just want to ask everybody to pray for him. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, I know he's he's up there in age and uh, you know all that, but you know the Lord can still do it. The Lord can he can uh, counteract age. You know his miracles and his his blessings. You know, and I just you know my aunt she's eighty I think. Uh, you know, it's just it would devastate her so bad, you know, to, you know, to, to lose him right now. So, um, you know, we just got to trust in the Lord, guys. But I just want to ask you all to pray, you know, pray, pray that the Lord will, will heal him, that the Lord will uh, let him get through this, you know, enough to to uh, stay here a little longer, you know. And he's he's a good Christian man, so. You know, we can stay here a little longer and, and be a, a good witness to people. So anyway, guys, pray for that for us. And having said that, let's get on with the uh, important stuff tonight. And that is, of course, the Word of God. So guys, Philemon, chapter 1, verse 7, I think is where we stopped last night. At least that's what I've got marked. So let's, uh, let's read some here, guys, and we'll get on. For we have great joy and consolation in thy love, because, <clears throat> excuse me, because the bowls, of the saints are refreshed by the brother. Let me find my spot again, guys. Wherefore, though I might be much bold in Christ to enjoin thee that which is convenient, yet for love's sake I rather beseech thee, being such and one as Paul the aged, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. I beseech thee for my son. Onesimus, whom I have begotten in my bonds, which in time past was to thee unprofitable, but now profitable to thee and to me, whom I have sent again, thou therefore receive him, that is, my own bowls, whom I would have retained with thee, that in thy stead he might have ministered unto me in the bonds of the gospel. But without thy mind, but I do nothing that they benefit, excuse me, that thy benefit should not be as it were of necessity, but willingly. For perhaps he therefore departed for a season that thou shouldest receive him forever. Not now as a servant, but above a servant, a brother, beloved, especially to me, but how much more unto thee, both in the flesh and in the Lord. If thou count me therefore a partner, receive him as myself. You know, guys, like I've talked before, a lot of these these letters in, in Timothy and and uh, Philemon and Titus, uh, you know, a lot of these. Let me get back up here where I was at, guys. A lot of these letters is Paul actually, you know, not only is it instructions to the church on how to do things, but it's also instructing them who Paul has seen, who you know, who he has seen do the works of the Lord and his people. He's basically saying when these people show up, because they will end up showing up where you're at, you know, maybe they were on their way right then or Paul just, you know, got a, a, a 
a prophecy from the Holy Spirit that they were going to go. Paul's saying, make sure that you, you accept these people in because these are the people that you need. You need these leaders and you need these people in this newly forming church. So anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Hate to make this video short, guys, but like, it's just, like I said, it's so late. I've not felt very good this evening. We had church. Church ran long. I've had a lot to do tonight. And like I said, if it wasn't for just getting the prayer request out to you guys for John, his name's John Sexton, so y'all just pray for him. Uh, I wasn't even going to make a video, but I, I felt like it was important to, to you know, to, uh, you know, I know one person, you know, the Bible tells us that the prayers of a, of a righteous man availeth much. Uh, you know, it don't say you have to have 50 people praying or 20 people or 100. I know one righteous, you know, one good prayer can, can get a prayer answered. But I just think it never hurts to have more people praying. I just, I believe in that. I believe the more, the more people you got praying, the more chance, you know, that we're going to, that we're going to be in God's ear, that, that maybe even on something that he's got his mind set on, that sometimes we can change his, not necessarily change his mind, but um, I don't know, guys. We can just maybe, like I said, uh, get a little bit more sympathy from him. Uh, anyway, guys, that's a whole different theological discussion right there. But anyway, guys, I love you all. Thanks for being here, guys. Good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. You all just keep praying for John, like I said. I love you all. Until I see you all again, good night, and God bless.